So let me just read through the question again. So Ghana Education Service takes a loan of 120,000 Ghana cities from GT Bank at a rate of 12% per annum to build laboratory for Osaom Agri Senior High School. Work started on 1st May 2019 and will be completed in 24 months' time. Ah, how should the above be accounted for in the financial statement of Ghana Education Service for the year ended 31st December 2019? So what do we do? This is under APSAS 55, right? So what do we do? Is the laboratory a qualifying asset or not? It is. It is a qualifying asset. So if it's a qualifying asset, how do we treat the interest expense? How do we treat the interest expense? We, we write it off or capitalize. capitalize. These are the two things. We capitalize it, isn't it? So let's get an interest expense. What do we have? 120,000 Ghana cities times 12%. But remember, the work started on 1st May 2019. So you cannot charge a full year interest. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So from 1st May 2019 to 31st December 2019, how many months? Eight. May, Eight. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And do it, try a cut. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. <laughs> I don't know French. So, eight to about twelve. What do I have? Nine, six, hundred. Nine, six, hundred. Be like this? Yeah. Okay. So, what is the double entry for this nine, six, hundred? Debit. 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 Yes. Debit. What are they constructing? An infrastructure. infrastructure. So we debit an infrastructure account and then we credit what? Or we debit the laboratory um, or PPE. Yeah. Are you getting it? Yeah. Then we credit what? Who do we credit? Cash or bank if we actually pay it. Or payables if at the end of the year we hadn't paid it. So no exemption. Please do you get a concept? Yes. So the interest must be capitalized. So we debit infrastructure, property, plants and equipment. And then credit was the cash if we have paid it, bank if we have paid it, but chances are we have not paid it. So we credit what payable. So initial cost of this asset is going to be the cost of the construction, which is $120,000. Make sense? Yeah. And then the interest from our workings, $9,600. Go. One, two, nine, six hundred. Am I right? No, one, two, one, six hundred. Two, one. Oh, yeah, no, this is just one twenty. You are adding on. Yeah. I think I uh, one, two, nine, six hundred. Is that? One, two, nine, six hundred. One, two, nine, six hundred. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So remember the asset is still in construction. So at the end of the year, this is what we we'll go to the face of the statement of financial position. In the name of infrastructure, um, property plans and what? Equipment. Because sometimes we put all of that together. And laboratory is part of the infrastructure. Road is an infrastructure. So this is how we account for this. Now stay with me closely. Let me add something to it. I add. How should the above be accounted for in the books of the GES, if if fifty thousand dollars was reinvested in a short-term bond, in a short-term bond, the reason why I'm giving you this question for us to look at is because of the statement we made, the two notes I gave you. What were the two notes I gave you? Note one says what. 
amount of borrowing cost capitalized during the period should not exceed the amount of borrowing cost incurred during the period. Does it make sense? The interest we are paying for that year, that is the interest or for that period, that is the interest we capitalize. So you don't capitalize more than what you are paying because it doesn't make sense. Then the second note, what did we say? The amount of borrowing cost eligible for capitalization should be determined as the actual borrowing cost incurred on the borrowing during the period less any investment income on the temporary investment on this borrowing. Good. So I, I, what are we saying? How should the above be accounted for in the financial statement of Ghana Education Service if 50,000 Ghana, oh, I'm still writing down, let's see. If 50,000 Ghana cities was reinvested in a short-term investment on 1st October 2019. Stay with me here. Stay with me here. So, part of the money has been reinvested. It means that we need to get what is called investment what? Income. So, as of the year ended 31st December 2019, what will be the investment income we will have? How many months has it been there? October, Three. November, Three. December. Three. So, how much did we invest? $50,000. Yeah. I didn't give an interest rate, sorry. At, and it will always be less than this. At 8.5% per annum. You know that, right? You receive less, but they charge you more. So, times... 8.5% times 3 over what? 12. What do I have? So this is I and this is I I. So what do I have? 50,000, 8.5%, 3. 1062.5. 1062.5. Okay. So 1063. Ghana cities. Listen carefully. We said the borrowing cost to be capitalized should be the borrowing cost incurred during that period less any investment income for te from temporary what? Reinvestment. It is in I I know this is the borrowing cost. Are we still incurring this cost? Yeah, yeah. Yes. But we are re receiving what? This income for that period. So the borrowing cost that we're going to be capitalizing Will be equal to a basic A nine six hundred minus A one zero six three. What do I have? Eight five three seven. Eight five three seven. So, what will be the initial cost of the asset in the statement of financial position for Ghana Education Service? Simple. So, our initial cost in the second scenario is going to be what? The cost of the building still at one twenty thousand, and then what? We bring the borrowing cost. From our workings here, 8537. What do we have now? 128. 128. 537. 537. That will go to the infrastructure, property, plant, and equipment. Does it make sense? Yeah. So that is it. That. So that is what that two statements we made there means. So if there is no reinvestment, it's cheap. But if there is an investment, then you have to subtract the income you received from the amount you are going to be capitalizing. But let me make a very critical statement here. If this investment income was had during a period where there was strike, you know when there is strike and there is those stoppages which are not necessary for the project, the borrow or interest expenses is not capitalized. You know that, right? We write it off. So, in those period, if there is any income, you don't deduct it from the borrowing cost to be capitalized. That will be also recognized in the income statement as an income. Did you get that well? Mm -hmm. You didn't get that. 
This is what I said. If there is stoppage, which is not necessary for the project, interest expenses incurred are written off. Isn't it? Yeah. For that reason, any investment income earned during that period is also recognized as income. But when it is about capitalization period, then the interest expense is what? Capitalized. For that reason, any investment income during that period will be subtracted from the borrowing cost to be capitalized. So that is the idea about that. So you can put it on. Let's continue.